What's good YouTube? Back with another sneaker video. Today I'm extremely excited to give you a quick look at my latest pickup, which are the Air Jordan 1 times Fragment Design. These by far are one of my favorite Air Jordan 1s, just due to the simple color blocking and just the, the history behind it as well. Getting into the history behind this collab, uh, it takes the both the best worlds being the Air Jordan 1 and uh, taking one of Nike's one of Nike's best collaborators which is Hirochi Fujiwara uh, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong I'm really sorry but um, Hiroshi Fujiwara is uh, the H in HTM um, he's a longtime collaborator with Nike um, if you guys want more information on his collabs, I do recommend picking up this book that I also did pick up because I did want to learn a little bit more about his collabs. And uh, this book is by Rizzoli. And I copped this for only like 12 pounds. So uh, it's pretty dope pickup, to be honest. If you guys want to look into the history behind the fragment, um, design and all their collabs they do more than uh, just sneaker collabs they do a lot of uh, apparel with a lot of uh, brands that are kind of like up there like I know they have a uh, um, Stussy and a mastermind but yeah but getting into the shoe the leather quality I think everybody has said said this before that it's just ridiculous it's um, comparing them to any of the uh, previously released ones, the uh, breads don't even compare. Uh, Royals don't even compare, you know. Uh, NYCs, you know, don't they don't compare. Uh, the the leather quality is just amazing on these. If I had to choose a shoe to compare the quality of leather to, it would have to be another Fragment uh, collab shoe. And it's the uh, Air Trainer 1. And actually the leather quality, the leather actually feels the exact same. Um, so yeah, they feel almost the exact same. And I know you can pick these up for almost retail, if not even below retail. But getting into comparing the color, uh, the the shades of blue is about the same as the Royals. Maybe, maybe if I had to choose, the the fragments are a tad bit darker. But it does come in a, a normal. Let's get these out the way. They do come in a normal Jordan. Uh, one box. I like these boxes a whole lot better. They're a whole lot sturdier. Here's the tag. Also, when you're looking at, when if you're looking for a pair, make sure if it still has the suggested retail price, it's 185. Uh, I saw a lot of 160s, and 160, I want to say, is the the normal retail for like uh, the breads or the Royals. So just keep that in mind. But get into, get into the box, you do have extra laces. Uh, these are just uh, Royal lace. I actually do like these. I've seen pictures of uh, these in. So I might actually throw these in for the on foot. And then you have just normal tissue paper. And then here is the V receipt. The receipt. But yeah, just a normal Jordan one box. Like I said, I hope they stick with this box. But yeah, uh, let me know guys, what, what do you think of my trade? Did I, did I win? Did I lose? Keep in mind that my uh, just Don 2's and my Soul Flies are both worn. So it was pretty much all worn shoes being traded. All worn shoes being traded. So yeah, just keep that in mind. But yeah, let me know in the comments. And also, are you guys excited that the Bread Ones are re-releasing? 
because I'm definitely, definitely going for another pair. Most stuff. But yeah, that's enough starting to ramble. Uh, going on to the on foot, there will be a uh, monthly pickup video this, uh, this month, so look out for that. But yeah, all right, sign out, guys. Look, I remember sleeping on the floor with the mice, though. When the windows open, only time a light show. Water in the tap, but it's never ice, though. Parents trying to move me out the city, summer nice, though. Daddy brought me places, had to keep my eyes closed. See this crack up in the side, serving fiends, I know. Hit the block, chill with G's, smoke his weed, I know. As a kid, shouldn't have seen what I've seen, I know. I knew about bitches selling butchers in the bio. Basement, I saw my first rifle. My daddy told me niggas got problems with their rivals. And my uncle told me like a shadow, cause you know it go wherever I go. Ooh, learn a lot of units, 65, though. A lot of lessons I applied to my life, though. I admit I did some fucked up shit by the age of 13, but a nigga turned out right though. Never really smoked, I would always pass. Now I'm rolling up backwards, writing down raps. Remember when my brother hit me on the jack? Did he buy to take his life?